everybody. I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to another boring unboxing. Today we're going to look at some more, you know, inside of boxes and see what has been sent to us. I have no idea what this one is. Let's take a look once we get past the, oh, is the game in sight here? No, that was just padding. And then peanuts and then the game. And the game is Banquet Royal. Oh, that does look delicious. Ooh, I'm kind of hungry looking at this. Alrighty. You want to be the royal cook? Validate your menu cards? Okay, this looks like a lighter game from Black Rock Editions. Cool. That's Banquet Royal. Well, this box is pretty heavy. It's from Real Grande Games. So, they have a lot of new games coming out. I don't know which one this one is. And this one is Broadhorns. Alright. Huh. This is weird because... I've seen a lot of their new games, and this wasn't one of the ones I've seen. Early Trading on the Mississippi. James Harmon is the designer. Okay, well, that looks interesting. I like the theming of it. Cool. Broadhorns. Now we got a small little envelope here. Let's see what's inside this here. Oh, some more boosters for Munchkin. This is the desolation of Blarg. All right, so this is their first expansion for the Munchkin Collectible Card Game. All right, 12 packs. There you go. Or 12 card packs, sorry. All right, let's see here. What's in this package? Oh, look, inside a package is another package. It's something with dragons so far. Dragon Rush. All right, those are like cute little dragons. Uh, looks like an abstract strategy game of sorts. Mama Dragon has that. Oh, they're calling them cute baby dragons. So that's the, the case of this one. All right, this is from Verda Games. All right, Dragon Rush. Okay, so this here is a large box that we packed coming back from a recent convention it came back as a suitcase and this was some of the stuff we got off the prize table i don't remember exactly what's in here all right so sam got a copy of the godfather and z got a copy of bluff and i got another copy of role player Ooh, nice and pandemic iberia some components for my component bits area um, a jacket which somehow got shoved in there let's see here some the new two small world expansions Sam's excited about this one drop zone heroes of black reach and then a couple games that I think we took along with us for review purposes all right cool okay here we go we have a another box having a clue what's inside it Oh, it's the Simon version of Dragon Castle. Dragon Castle, of course, a great tile laying game. All right, neato. All right, let's see what's in this box. It's kind of a thin box. Uh, T-shirts. Board game friendly. And some very obviously 3D printed keychains. Board game friendly. Uh, maybe I'm not board game friendly. Maybe I'm a board game enemy. All right, that's cool. All right, let's see what's in this box here. Lots of paper. Visitor. Oh, that game, this kind of seems freaky. An 80s alien adventure in the wood. Huh. How are these objects different from these objects? Oh, that, I'm kind of cool with that. That sounds interesting. All right. Well, then there's two of them in here in case the first one we didn't figure it out. All right. Cool. Visitor. That looks neat. It really does. All right. Here we have a small game. Not sure what this one is. Zumaka. 25 minutes. Players be the first to open their zoo. You have to collect animals of different types. 
Huh. The cards look pretty cool in this game. Sounds like there's no theme, so you just need to try to collect a hand of every color. So it's a card game style thing. Huh. Well, that sounds cool. All right. I This one's from Asthma Day, but it's a smaller box, so I'm not sure exactly what's in it. Ah, some more Star Wars Legion stuff. Sam will like this one. General Veers, the Commander expansion. So, um, did I rip that? I hope not. Anyway, General Veers, what an evil guy. But Sam will like this. Cool. All right, now I got a small box here. This is, the box says it's from Ninja Division. I don't play too many of their games, but... Yeah, I knew it. This is from a new line of games that they have, like for kids. So this is Rainbow Knights. A little small game. 96 Ram Knight cards and four corner cards. Oh, this looks like you're building a grid. Well, that sounds interesting. I do like the artwork on this a lot. It looks very Adventure time ish -y. All right, Rainbow Knights. Cool. Wow, this one here. This game is from Latvia. I don't, I don't know if I've ever gotten a game from Latvia before. That's one of the cool things about gaming, is you get games from all over the world. Um, trying not to, to ruin the game here. It's a problem if you send a game not in a box. I highly recommend not doing that. I wish companies wouldn't do that because it's just so dangerous. It's so easy for the box to get destroyed from the opening. I mean, like, how are you supposed to open this without a, a knife? I mean, I'm doing it now because there's bubble wrap there. All right, I think I got it. There we go. And even now, I feel like the game has a little bit of... got beat up because of what it was. There grew a kingdom. Yep, see the back of the box is pushed in a little bit because of it came in. Ah, that's some pretty bad font. The game doesn't look that interesting, honestly. It might be good, but wow, that board looks generic. All right, you're going to... Oh, it's 4X there, letting you know here on the side. All right. Well, you never know. You never know. It might be fun from Monument Games. All right, let's see what's in this one here. Peanuts. Popcorn. And, ooh. Jurassic Park. Danger. This is the new Jurassic Park style game. Very intrigued to see this one. Cool. There's the instructions, which were not in the box. Oh, more instructions. Oh, no, no, that's just the think sheets. Cool, though. I love Jurassic Park theme. I hope this game is good. All right, let's uh, open this fairly large box here for our final one for this video. Let's see what's in it. One game only. But it's gold. Wow. Big Trouble in Little China, the game. Boy, they went all out on the, the gold in this one. This one at least looks better than the upper deck one for sure. The, the artwork. Okay, well, I saw a little bit of that Origins last year. I hope it's good. Oh, well, yeah, I got caught up looking at the pictures there for a moment. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Another most boring unboxing video in the world. I'll see you next time. I'm Tom Bassel. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.